so I was playing through the Portal series again when I thought, having one of those would be sick. Then I remembered my bank account and thought, having one of those would be sick. There are a lot of other Wheatleys on YouTube already, and most of these schematics will be reused ones from these absolute mad lads, the King Brothers, and some from this epic dude, Mr. Volt. All the other ones online seem to be puppets, either physically or via controller. My Wheatley will be completely automated using real AI and voice assist. I also wish to implement face tracking while I'm talking to it, alongside it being able to follow me on its track in order to maintain a constant distance. This won't be 100% game accurate. Real Wheatley is way too massive and would be way too expensive and, um, complicated. But here's the general size mine will be. If you're looking for something more screen accurate, I suggest watching Mr. Volt series instead. Before we begin, here's a quick lesson on the anatomy of a soldering iron. This is the hot part. Do not touch this. Don't do this. Anyways, I didn't see these tiny little pieces on the CAD until after I had printed most of the skeleton. No worries though, I just simply dug around my scrap box and found this thin square I can cut down to work the same function. First things first, we plug in our cheap soldering iron I told you to get in the description of this video. If you already have one, that's great, but don't use your main soldering iron for this as it will ruin it. First and foremost, print the ribs and spine. The deconstructed and edited version of the CAD will be in the STL file under a link in the description, alongside the actual CAD and code downloads. I printed everything structural in a 0.28mm width with 40% cubic infill on PLA. To assemble them, ensure the numbers on each pair match up, as ribs 3.2 and 3.3 don't connect to each other. Then sand each part that connects to another piece. Take a dab of super glue and put it on one side and hold it there for about 30 seconds. Be careful not to breathe these fumes and never have your nose directly above whatever you are gluing. After that side is dry, place another dab of super glue on the other side and hold it there for around the same amount of time. You can also hold it level to the table to ensure that they are level. Once the ribs are glued together, take a soldering iron and carefully draw a crisscross pattern along the seams. This melts the PLA together and creates a strong bond. Again, do not breathe this. Assembling the spine is fairly similar to the ribs, just sand, match, and glue. I suggest looking at the CAD to ensure that you don't accidentally use the wrong segments, as they are all different. Once all the glue is dry, I also welded them together. After all the spine segments are together, simply align the smaller segments in order to make the larger shape. Alright, this part's actually a lot harder than it sounds. I had to use, like, stacks of cups and duct tape to balance it so I could actually get it right. Now onto the eyepiece. For this part, you definitely need a flat surface. Sand, glue, yada yada. This part takes the most patience. I kept on trying to handle it before the glue fully set, and it only made it take longer. The top of the bottom parts have a very, very slight bevel that leads into the top parts, so be careful and make sure that you align it right. Putting the first earpiece in was super tricky as the whole structure wanted to spring away from me. I gave up on using the glue first method and instead just resorted to holding it down with my hands as I welded each piece together. I then hit it with a very quick pass over of the heat gun just to take off some of the tension. The other side was much easier as it was mostly already in shape. Before we add the eyepiece though, I sanded it and filled it with drywall repair putty, then sanded it again. After that, I filled it with filler primer, then sanded it again. I then painted it with two to three layers of matte black rust-oleum spray paint than two coats of clear coat Rust-Oleum spray paint. Attaching the eye circle was honestly really easy, just do the old sandy gluey and then weld it together. Bam shmam, there you go. And there you have it, the completed Wheatley skeleton. Don't miss out the- don't miss the next video where we do the outer shell. Oh, and big shout out to all my patrons, their names are up on the screen.